Error bars are something that's really useful as a test of significance in a science fair project. If you do a science fair project and you're told by your teacher you need to show some test of significance, just do this. This is easy. All you have to do is find the standard deviation, which is discussed in another video of mine, divided by the square root of the number of data points in your group, and that's the standard error. And then doing that, you can graph it like this. Here's a sample um, project, adding progressively larger amounts of fertilizer to plants um, after some time they grow at different heights. I've got 18 plants here in this group, 18 in that group, 18 in that group. Using Excel I found the mean of those groups. This bottom number here is the mean, the average of all of those groups. And I've rewritten it down here. Um, and then I found the standard deviation of the data points using Excel again. And the number of data points being 18, the square root of 18 is 4.24. Notice I put that in, in its own little box um, for a reason, because down here when I'm calculating standard error, remember that standard error is the number of, is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of numbers. So here I've found the standard error for the first column, for the second column, for the third column, for the fourth column. Ooh, notice there's zero error. That's because there's no standard deviation. Now why would that be? Oh, because all the numbers are the same. So there's no er no variation, no error. There's an extremely accurate, precise, mostly very accurate, we would say, correlation between the independent variable and the dependent variable. Whereas here in this next group, there's a lot of variation, and so there's a high standard deviation, and therefore more error. But I just want to show you a trick in Excel. If you click a box and press equals, you're telling Excel to do a function. You can go over to another box now that contains a number, and it will think of that number. It will be thinking, hmm, 0 0.5. Then you press divide by, and now you can poke the other cell that you wanted it to divide by, and you get the result. Once again, equals, and now I'm going to click over here in this cell, press divide by and then this number and press return and I've got Excel doing the division for me. These are all different errors for each of these columns. I've made a bar graph using this set of data here. I just did uh, insert um, chart uh, column graph actually. And I want to add little bars up and down above these in order to get my error there. And how you do it is you first you click in your graph, go up to layout, and error bars. Now each version of Excel has different ways of doing this, but unfortunately you don't do what you'd think, which is with standard error and all this. It's not going to do it right. You have to go to more error bar options and hit vertical both directions. Keep the end style however you want. Go down to Custom, click Specify Value, and now for the positive error value here, you click that little graphy thing, which I don't know what it's called, and now highlight all this row of all five different standard errors, and click that again. Now you're telling Excel to make the positive error values be all of those different numbers. Now click the negative error values and again highlight that whole row there across and click the little graphy thing there and now say OK. And now it looks kind of weird, press close and now you've done it. What you've got here, let me just um, zoom in a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work for zooming in but we'll try. Um, now what you've got is a lot of different errors, error bars here, and this is good because it tells you whether your results are significant or not. If you were to draw a line going horizontally through this whole thing here, if there's air space, like for example, I'm drawing a horizontal line here, see how there's air space between the lowest end of the one and the upper end of the other? That means that there's a 95% probability of significance in your result.